liquid nano clay comes into into play in that arena really on improving the hygroscopy or the the soil's ability to both absorb and retain water and nutrients so uh, so so that's where we pit, uh, fit into the picture uh, and of course we will need water water and air is crucial for uh, all life um so um so um uh, we're focused on uh, on making sure that the the soil can retain more of the water um it's a big uh, it's a big issue you know around the world as well with uh, both uh, i mean we hear about more extreme weather more droughts um we have all these um uh, uh increasing temperatures that are causing death spread and uh, as that happens temperatures rise in a more vicious cycle again so so um you look at sort of what's happening around the world when it comes to the loss of uh, of fertile topsoil. This really thin membrane around uh, our planet that uh, accounts for maybe ninety percent of everything that we uh, that we eat uh, and even what we wear. Uh, you know that uh, that thin membrane is getting thinner and thinner. Uh, and uh, the challenge with that is uh, that we'll have to uh, you know very very quickly find alternative sources if we cannot reverse it. Um, and um, uh, the other challenge is with, with regards to water is that the thinner it gets, the more mineral uh, rich that soil will be underneath, very sandy, and that will uh, require even more water than the 70% of all fresh water that we're consuming today. So we need to address uh, the issue of, uh, of, of that combined with soil health, um, combating desertification and protecting land from, uh, from degradation and uh, uh, really championing uh, cultivation of healthy soils uh, for a healthy planet, that's, uh, that's our target.